Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a morning dove. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the front part of the body. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. To the right of the circle, near the bottom, make a small mark for the first part of the back portion of the body. Pay attention to the distance between this mark and the circle. Now connect the small mark to the circle using two curved lines to finish the guide for the back portion of the body. This guide should be similar to a big arc on its side. On the top left side, draw a smaller circle as a guide for the head. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. First make 4 small marks to indicate the sides of the circle and then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. This circle should be about half the size of the first circle. Draw a horizontal line across the head circle. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. On the left side of the head, draw a small curved line as a guide for the beak. This line should be similar to a very small arc on its side. Pay attention to the size of this arc in relation to the head. Connect the head to the body using two curved lines to create the guide for the neck. The bottom part of the neck should be wider than the top. Under the body, draw an angled line as a guide for the leg. Draw a short horizontal line at the bottom as a guide for the foot. Starting on the top right side of the body, draw a very long sloping line for the first part of the tail. Pay attention to the length of this line in relation to the body. Below that, draw another long sloping line to finish the guide for the tail. The shape of the tail should be very similar to a long thin triangle. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, on top of the horizontal construction guide, lightly sketch a small circle for the eye. Pay attention to the size of this circle in relation to the head. Place the eye closer to the left edge of the head circle. When you get the size and position of the eye right, darken the shape. Draw a couple of short curved lines around the eye for the bare skin. Keep these lines close to the shape of the eye. Draw a couple of shorter curved lines on the sides. Inside the eye, draw a tiny circle for a highlight. Now shade in the eye. Don't overlap the tiny highlight circle as you shade the eye. Use a dark value as you shade. Use the small arc on the left side as a guide to draw the beak. First, darken the top part of the arc. At the top, curve the line to the right to create the base of the beak. Lightly sketch a line across the middle of the shape for the mouth. The line for the mouth should extend inside the head. When you get the shape right, darken the line. Darken the bottom part of the arc for the lower part of the beak. Extend this line inside the head too. Curve the line around the mouth. Inside the top part of the beak, draw a short thick line for the nostril. Now use the small initial circle as a guide to draw the rest of the head. Simply darken the outer edge of the circle to create the shape of the head. Curve the line on the left toward the beak. 
make the top part of the head a bit flatter than the initial circle. Continue to draw the line on the right side downward to create the neck. Under the beak, curve the line so that the bottom of the head is thinner. Add a few more short lines around the eyes for extra detail. Draw a few wavy lines on the bottom part of the head for feathers. Now lightly sketch a very long curved line across the body for the first part of the folded wing. Place this line close to the bottom edge of the body. On the right side, extend the line into the shape of the tail. Inside the tail, angle the line upward to create the top edge of the folded wing. The tip of the wing should be thin and pointy. When you get this shape right, darken the lines. The shape of the folded wing should take up a big space inside the body. Curve the line at the bottom slightly upward in the middle. On the top left side, draw a curved line for the base of the wing. Break up the line into smaller strokes to create a feathery texture. Now draw a series of short curved horizontal lines across the wing for feathers. Draw these curved lines on the right side of the wing. Draw more curved lines below that for more feathers. The lines at the bottom should be longer than the lines at the top. Don't draw too many of these lines, just draw a few to indicate some feathers. Now use the angled line under the body as a guide to draw the leg. Draw a wide shape across the top part of the guide for the base of the leg. Now draw the shape of the leg around the guideline. Draw two sloping lines to create the sides of the leg. Use the line at the bottom as a guide to draw the foot. On the left side, draw a long thin shape for the first toe. Make the tip of the shape thin and pointy for the nail. To the right, draw a shorter thin shape for another toe. Draw a short sloping line at the top for the toe that's on the other side. To the right, draw another thin shape for the toe that points backward. Make the tip of the shape curved and pointy for the nail. To the left, draw the leg that's on the other side the same way. A big part of this leg will be hidden behind the first leg so only draw the visible portion. Add a short thin shape on the right side for the other backward pointing toe. Now use the big shapes in the middle as guides to draw the rest of the body. Simply darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the body. Don't overlap the leg at the bottom as you darken the lines. To the right of the leg, use short strokes for a feathery texture. Continue to draw the line for the top of the head downward to create the top of the body. Make the top of the body slightly wavier than the initial guidelines. Draw a few more lines along the top edge of the body for more of the folded wing. Use the triangular shape on the right side as a guide to draw the tail. Follow the basic path of the guide but make the shape of the tail thinner. Draw a couple of short curved lines on the left side for the feathers on the base of the tail. Inside the tail, draw a few sloping lines for longer feathers. At the top, draw a short curved line for the tip of the wing that's on the other side. 
Now erase the initial guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video won't be too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines. It's okay if you leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. Use a medium value across the entire body. Shade lightly at first and gradually build up to a medium value. For a light value, push down very lightly on your pencil, then push down harder for darker values. Use a slightly darker value for the wing section. As you shade the feathers on the wing, leave the edges blank. Use a dark value to shade the beak. Add a few small dark sections on the wing for the spotted pattern. Curve these small shapes so that they look like crescent moons. Use a slightly darker value throughout the body to create some shadows. Shadows will give the body more volume and help the figure look more three-dimensional. Shade slowly and evenly for a smooth texture on the feathers. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. It's a good idea to use reference as you shade for a more accurate depiction of a morning dove. Draw a shadow at the bottom using a medium value. This grounds the morning dove so that it doesn't appear to be floating. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the morning dove. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number two, then drawanimals.com. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.